Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. My name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. We are currently live on Twitch and YouTube. I know, simultaneously, guys. Crazy. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe if you'd like to get notified when we go live next. Check out the YouTube. Subscribe. There's a bunch of great content. Go over to the playlist section load okay again guys i'd really appreciate it if you went and subscribed on the youtube the vods from this stream will be available there after this stream the next symbol we are going to be looking at match group match group i really quite like match group and i feel like it's presenting a great entry let's get into that a little more so i try to apply a very consistent set of standards to everything it is we look at so you can when you're comparing these products one right next to, to the other you can really see how they compare objectively it's not an opinion it's not just a feeling we're taking using the scientific method truly we're comparing why is my computer acting weird we'll use things like the rsi we'll use things like our moving averages to really uh get an idea of where these products stack up against their peers so what is one of the first things i like about match group well one, one of the first things we always talk about on this channel is the RSI. If we currently look, the RSI is down on the ground, touching that green 30. This is typically a sign that this stock is oversold or maybe undervalued. When the RSI is high in the, in the sky and touching the red 70, the top end, this is typically a sign that the stock is overbought or maybe not a good value in the stock market. We're in the market of buying low and selling high. So when the RSI is high in the sky, probably don't want to be placing our trades. But when it is low, like right here, for example, that might present a great opportunity to be scaling into a company like this and capitalize on this growth. The times prior where its RSI was as low as it is currently, I'll mark real quickly. Right there. As you can see, in March 2022, the RSI touched down at the green 30, and then Match Group proceeded to run as much as 264%. Absolutely massive. Time before that was November 2018. The RSI touched down at the green 30. The stock proceeded to run as much as 170%. And then way back when, a few months after the IPO of this stock, the RSI touched down at the green 30, then proceeded to run as much as 300%. That was, that was April 16. I don't know if you guys can see that timestamp on my stream. Again, the symbol for match group is MTCH. If you look right here, there's a W. This means that every candle being shown on the screen represents one week of time. It's very important to keep your time frames in mind so you can get a better idea of how long it might take for these patterns to play out. What else do I like about Match Group? We've been covering a lot of ETFs today. Well, let's come down and look at their financials. Let's look at their annuals. In 2020, they had a profit margin of 22.08%. I love that. I absolutely love that. That would have been around this time period when their stock was absolutely exploding. In 2021, they had a profit margin of 9.29%. And in 2022, they had a profit margin of 11.35%. As you can see, their revenue is growing year over year, which is good, very good. And they had a little bit of a dip in 2021, but it is slowly starting to recover. Times where you see a widening revenue and a lowering profit margin would typically be be caused by an increase in, in expenses, right? So they are achieving higher revenues, growing their cash flows, uh, but that's probably coming at the cost of 
very basic things like advertising. They might be paying to advertise more in 2021, 2022 in order to generate their increased revenue, but they are growing as a company. Uh, th th these are all great. These are all great. There's a lot of companies wh whose names get thrown around that aren't even profitable, aren't even profitable. I feel like that's like the bar. If you're not profitable, I don't know why I would want to buy a piece of this not profitable business model. But Match Group is very profitable and I do like it. What are we currently expecting out of Match Group moving forward? Well, as you can see, I have a little gray projection box in place here and we are currently we're not even talking about if it sets a new all-time high i feel like this stock could very easily set a new all-time high one day but just from its current price back to its recent all-time high that it's already been traded at before at one point news articles were getting published about match stock saying this is a good value at 160 dollars right uh so just from current price to its previous all-time high that it was at less than two years ago, that's a potential gain of 359%. That's huge, guys. That's huge. Great time to start scaling into something like this. Again, they're very profitable. They have a current market cap of $10 billion. Relatively small. You know, it's not the biggest company. Relatively small, but that means it has a lot of room to grow, right? A lot of room to grow. That's just about everything I have to say about Match Stock. Very good. Um, great financials, good technicals. Let's quickly look at the monthly real quick. Just wanted to show this. It's not showing the 180 moving average in trading view, but if it did, the monthly 180 moving average would come through right here. And it is actually sitting right on top of the monthly 180 moving average again trading view is not showing it it will have you, you, you'll have to take my word on that one but i swear i'm not lying other than that we can move into our next symbol 